All right, you're uh, listening to Wheeler's Weekend Jams right now, and we are. I'm with the boys from Fishing Twenty Down. If you guys would like to introduce yourselves, Jordan, Lally, this is Wes, lead guitar. Woo! All right, guys, how has this halfway there tour been going so far? Pretty decent. We started off in uh, in back in Maryland, had a couple good shows. We're just really getting started, to be honest with you. This is our first show out in the Midwest, so we'll see tonight what we. Answer that question a little bit better after yeah. the show. Yeah, this is the first Midwest show, and the first time we've been in Chicago for almost two years, and um, it's looking great. I think it's gonna be a good turnout. And is, is there like a little story behind the title of this tour, Halfway There Tour? There's a, there's yes, a couple. Yes, <laughs> there, there are multiple <laughs> <Please> stories. <explain. laughs> well, literally, you know, we're going halfway across the U.S., so <laughs> that's that's halfway there. <laughs> um, and we've caught some some pretty pretty cool breaks that we're excited about so we feel like not that we're halfway there but we feel like our, we're on our way you know to, to get yeah. somewhere we've been working real hard to get to I guess that kind of sums it up a little bit right yeah oh right on uh, now you guys came out with where's the levity last year um, is there a new album in the works oh yeah yeah we have at least a full length of material um, ready to go right now um, tonight's set was almost half new songs so yeah, um, and that's part of the halfway there uh, meeting is that, you know, we're waiting to hopefully put this out on a label and stuff like that. But yes, we have a bunch of new material. It's awesome and can't wait to get it yeah, out. Yeah, we're ready to get it out. We, yeah, we we're had really a anxious. call with our manager on Friday and we're like, can we release a single or an EP? And he's like, just sit, sit tight. We're going to get a label. We'll get it out there. Yeah, but I, so, think, I think we talked him into letting us, I think we're going to be able to put out a single. Yeah, so hopefully we'll have a single out maybe by the end of the year. If not, it's going to be a full length. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Nice, yeah. nice. Patience, patience. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's seemingly the name of the game. <laughs> now, Wes, I met yep. you at the full service show back in, I want to say, yeah. 2011 at the Beat Kitchen. The Beat um, Kitchen, yeah, I remember that. Is that the year you joined? It was, I joined Fiction 20 Down in 2012, so um, I don't, I think that full service show was maybe six months, six months before I moved to Maryland. But it wasn't too long after that show where I got in touch with these guys, and then you know that that whole thing started happening. So, yeah, yeah um, it was right around that time. Yeah, oh, cool, man. Um, with the band now, you guys, what is your main goal for the future for Fiction Twenty Down? Wow, that's a that's a broad I, that's a broad a lot of goals. Um, I, I, our main goal is just to be able to continue. To make progress doing what we love doing, you know what I mean, and reach as many, I just to summarize, reach as many years as possible. Yeah, and, and to have a positive impact through our music. Yeah. Radio. Playing, I mean, you, uh, you guys have been playing a lot of benefit shows, and you guys have the importance of giving it back. Can you get into deeper detail about that? I, um, that's always been something important to us. I was, that's kind of how I was raised. My parents, we always just did, um, it was just, it was just, we had foster kids. It was always volunteering this weekend, that weekend. So um, when I started the band, it just kind of seemed natural. So we just started doing it. And every, you know, all three of the guys in the band all had the same sort of value system. So it's just something we enjoy doing. Yeah, and in music, in the music industry especially, a lot of it is just take, take, take. Everyone's out for themselves. And, and we've been on the receiving end of that. And it's like, fuck that. Like, you know, let's be different and, and yeah. give back. Absolutely. Right on. When you guys are working in the studio or just at your jam spot in general, do you guys, is the music always first or do the lyrics come first or is it kind of just combined? Um, most, of the most of the songs probably are, they end up, they, they originate from um, me just strumming my vocal guitar and coming up with like a lyrical, melodic idea. Then I'll bring that to the guys and then it evolves from there. So yeah, I guess I guess it starts on a lyric mm -hmm. or with a, like a melody, yeah. and then and then you know, goes from there. Right on. Well, there's a huge thing going on in the music industry right now. Uh, Gene Simmons, a Kiss, is saying that rock and roll is dead. <laughs> Your thoughts? I couldn't disagree more. <laughs> I would say that mainstream rock and roll might be dead in terms of what is reaching the, the mass populace but I mean we've played plenty of clubs with plenty of great kick-ass yeah. rock bands and rock and rock is different you know what I mean it's not yeah. that it's just different you know we do reggae hip-hop 
bunch of different stuff into our sound, but we call it rock. Yeah. It all boils I, mean, I, I don't think rock and roll has ever been dead since it started, and a lot of it's a cycle. You know, the whole EDM, electronic, like, pop, jingle, rock stuff, like, mm -hmm. it's all a cycle. You know, the grunge of the early 90s, I think, is starting to come back now. I mean, you, there, there are bands out, um, even now, that are starting to sort of, like, emanate that sound, but in a more modern twist, so it's a cycle, and I don't think it, you know... Hip hop, reggae, rock, those are all the styles of American music that will always live on. It's just a matter of what's in flavor at that point in time. Exactly. And I think now is a time where it is maybe having a more resurgence and becoming a little more relevant and mainstream. Yeah. See, it certainly seems to be boiling up from the underground. The more yeah, we see yeah. from the clubs we play and the, the bigger shows we get on it. It's definitely less yeah, pop think, on the bills than it was yeah. a couple years ago. So yeah. hopefully that, that continues. It's funny, I was watching a Jim Morrison uh, interview today, and oh, yeah? he said that in the future he could see music changing into electronics. It's just one guy in electronics. I was watching that today, and I was like, wow. That'd was be right. scary. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, wow, he predicted the future. It's like crazy. right on. Man. Yeah. Um, well, one last question. You probably know this question. But uh, <laughs> if you had to compare your band uh. <laughs> to a movie, what movie would it be and why? To a movie? I like that question. You have to go first. Um, well, obviously, my name is Wes Anderson, but so I won't do that route. But um, if I could compare it to a movie, I would say Pulp Fiction, because there's so much going on in that movie. And there's so many storylines going on in our band. Uh, as individuals, we're all very different people and have our own stories going on in our own lives. And also, musically, we have a lot of different styles going on. But as a whole, Pulp Fiction is such a classic movie, and you know. We like to think of our music as like as a whole, like you know, something that will be timeless and remembered. I was just gonna say ditto. <laughs> I, was, I feel like you were prepared with that answer. I actually wasn't. I just no, made that up. I'm just gonna go with just that. Just take the, uh, the, the rape scene. Yeah. 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 Well, like, yeah. 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 The, the, the TV version. We the all TV have version. Yeah. We all yeah. have yeah. stable yeah. relationships with yeah. non Exactly. Yeah. The made for TV version. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. That's us. <laughs> Paul Fiction it is well guys thank you for joining yeah me. man thank and, you pleasure uh, yeah thank you for listening Leaders Weekend Jams backstage thanks guys thank you sir right on. <laughs>